Okay, everybody, uh, as you can see, uh, I just got in a G309 from these guys. Uh, you might have heard of them, Logitech. They've been around for a minute. Look at that, man. It's, somebody stepped on it. I hate that. And I, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to do a quick impressions so far. This is not a full review because I did just get it. But one thing that kind of stands out. Now this is this is an eighty dollar mouse. It's eighty eighty dollars. This must be a cable. It's a cable. Um, a battery. Yeah, a battery because this takes a battery. It's 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 there's no lithium battery in here. Uh, but you can put one in here. So the packaging is. I mean it's fine. I don't really have a big deal about packaging, but um, I've just had you know like. $30 mice that had better packaging than this uh, but it's okay you know less 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 trees uh, and you do get some some stickers they're black why you would want to put black stickers on a white mouse who knows and then I, I took this little thing off and check this out this is what's funny like this comes on this right here as soon as you open it up it's like oh look power play and I'm assuming that if you scan that it will take you to their website and their website will go hey you don't like that battery huh well check this out yo we got a map that will charge it while you use it and that's pretty cool but I feel like you know are you trying a little harder you got a surplus on those mats that nobody buys I don't know so anyway my first impressions of this are it's okay um, and I'm going to directly compare it to the 305. Uh, and as you can see, this thing has got some some wear on it. I, I love this mouse. I absolutely love this mouse. I do not like the weight, of course, but I do like this mouse. I like the way that... I love the shape. Um, I love these angles right here. I love that it's got this giant bump in the back. And it makes my hand feel like it's moving forward... I'm pointing. It, it just, it does. I don't know whether, it's just weird. I know, it's just, it's a me thing. But I feel like, like when I'm aiming in a game, I, I'm actually pointing. It just has this kind of angled little reaction to the feel of it. And I don't know. It's, it's just a me thing. And it, and it has to do with their sh its shape, too. Uh, the wheel is really good. Uh, and the side buttons are really good. The buttons are good. Everything's good. You know, it, it's but but it, it's heavy. You know, and it's and it takes a battery. Not not really a downside. I I still recommend this to anybody that it's like, hey, I've only got so much money, and I need a wireless solution. I I, I recommend this still. Now, of course, you can still get one of these. This is the Red Dragon. Um, I keep forgetting the name of this thing. Uh, it's that one. Um. It's the King 4K Pro, and this is a 4,000 pulling rate mouse for 30 bucks. So, you know, but you may not be able to get it in your country. You may not be able to find it, you know, locally or anything. So it is a recommendation, but they sell these at Walmart. I mean, you can get these worldwide anywhere. So, you know, that's why I recommend it sometimes. Is this the replacement? Because I feel like right off the bat I feel like this is not 
This gives me no joy. Joy, no joy. Joy, no joy. It's fine. I mean, it is fine. It does have a nice. Let me turn it off before I screw up my recording. It does have a a nice shape. It's not this shape. I mean, you can obviously see it. You know, it. There's no angles that make the 305 the 305. Especially here. Look, see how this kind of comes out, and it's got that rounded, you know, kind of butt to it. Look at that. Yeah, you ever have like a favorite car and then like the next year they come out with a new version and you're like what is that this is a what is that I, I, don't, I don't understand <laughs> um, what is this like I guess that's just for aesthetics I mean you do pull this thing off and this that's where the battery goes and as you can see I just put a whatever random AAA battery I had I put it in my double-a case so that it you know shaves a little bit of weight but I don't have any lithium batteries triple-a uh, laying around I'm not buying one either right now for this guy but it just um, you know this one uh, to me has it it's just appealing looking if you just look at it you've got the gold logo it's white. The black one has, you know, the same logo, but you got this black strip. And it just, when you see one, you know what it is. If you look across the room, you go, oh, he's using a 305. The buttons just are great. The side buttons never fail. The wheel, you can see that it's, of course, it's dirty. But it's flat, and it's rubbery, and it's clicky, and it's just... Every time I pick up this mouse and use it, I'm like, why do I not just use this mouse? Why do I why do I have to make a YouTube channel? I could just this may be my forever mouse. But but after a while, I'm like, it's it's heavy. The weight distrib uh, distribution in it is a little off. It's it's more in the back where the battery is. So and that may be part of how it feels like you're pointing with it because your weight is back here, and that might be a plus. But at the same time, you start to feel that weight. Uh, and not in a not in a positive way, not like a a, a 502 where the where the weight is distributed evenly, and after, and you don't notice it as much. But with this, you do notice it. So I think what we wanted was one of these, like a super light. Am I right? I think I'm right. Put in the comments below. I think that everybody wanted a 305 super light, internal lithium battery, all the guts taken out, super light, new sensor, optical switches. This is what we get. This is like a, you know, 2001 Subaru WRX. And this is a 2020 Subaru WRX. If you know, you know. Um, it just looks like... It, it just looks like something your mom would use. It doesn't have any kind of appeal to me for... I don't know. It's just it's just basic, and and it being basic and using a battery, this still retails for twenty nine ninety nine in most places. I've seen it as high as forty five dollars or forty nine dollars. It fluctuates. I don't know why. This has always typically been about thirty to thirty five dollars. This is eighty dollars. What are you getting extra for that eighty dollars? I, I don't know. Um, it feels fine. I, I I mean, if I had never touched a 305 and I didn't know what a 305 was, I would be like, well, this is fine. This is nice. I like this. It's got a nice feel to it. The buttons feel good. The wheel feels fine. That feels fine. Side buttons are okay. It, it glides. The weight distribution is better. It doesn't feel like it's all right here. It feels like it's more right about, you know, right in there. Um, I just don't think it's, it just doesn't look, I mean, this is a turtle beach. This is, this is kind of sexy. 
this is this is not and I know I keep harping on the looks but I it just looks weird I mean if you take a super light I don't think a lot of people are gonna go okay oh yeah this is so much better no I don't think that that's gonna happen you know of course there's a big price difference here but these guys man I, I'm telling you they're gonna price themselves out of the market this is not an $80 mouse it doesn't look like an $80 mouse it does not feel like an $80 mouse it does not operate like an $80 mouse this is not an $80 mouse this is easily a $49.99 mouse that you want to wait to get on sale for $39.99 This is 47 grams. This is 52 grams. Let's weigh it. Grams. Okay. Now let me zero it out. Come on, zero. There we go. Okay. Now, just for fun, okay, this is the original. This is 305. 89 grams. Can you see that? Let me turn it a little bit. 89 grams. And that's with the, the little battery. You know, and just, just for... Uh, oh no, I have the same battery in. Never mind. So that's with the same battery. Okay, and this is the new one. Ooh, whoa, Ooh. seventy-six grams. Wow, they really cut the cut the fat on that, didn't they? Fifty-one grams. Seventy-six. Hey, let's just take the battery out. Look at that. Now, if you take the battery out, that that feels better. That 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 feels really good. The weight distribution is better. Yes. That feels more that feels more expensive than than $49. But guess what? It won't work unless you have the charge pad. I just feel like maybe this mouse was just to, to perpetuate sales for that thing. So, you know, again, the the, the Turtle Beach... Uh, oh, let me take this off because that's not fair. The the Airburst 2. This dude's 47 grams. I really like this mouse. I almost want to say, I want to apologize to Turtle Beach for being so rough with them, but... Eh. All in all, um, I mean, I, I, this isn't a review. Like I said, I have to use it for a while. I don't like to do open boxes and go, open box and review. No, you have to use this for a while to get a feel for it and how it operates. And I'm going to use this for at least a week and try this out. And my opinion of this may change. It may be like, you know what? This really is a good mouse. But, I mean, it, I'm going to just do with you. Look at this. Just Here's the attack shark. Here's Turtle Beach. Here's, uh, you know, Super Light for, like, which one of these says, uh, I'm an accountant? I mean, you know, I mean, just, again, it's not about the looks, but it is about the feel and the design. And I don't know why this thing flares out on the bottom like that. Like, that's, that's, I mean, if it was an Ergo Mouse, maybe, but it's not. It's, it, what is this? <sighs> anyway, okay. Thanks for watching. Again, not a review, but so far my impressions of this are about ground zero. Uh, but I'm gonna use it for a while. Got Space Marine 2 coming out later this week. I'll I'm gonna try it with that and see how I can um, you know relinquish hate across the galaxy in the name of the Emperor with this mouse and this stupid battery let's see where we go so until then until next time have a great day